Well, one of my tasks while I'm on vacation is to replace a few uh, fluorescent light ballasts that I have down in the basement. It's getting to the point where it's quite dark down there. Um, I installed these lights maybe three or four years ago down there, replacing just two or three incandescents with a uh, one of those ceramic base type things with a pull switch, and. <clears throat> They're starting to fail now, and as you can see, these have electronic ballast on them, made in China. Now, these light fixtures were very inexpensive. I only paid maybe like $8 for the whole light fixture, so I really can't complain about the fact that they lasted three months, or I mean three years. But I'm replacing these ballasts with some good... Um, universal brand electronic ballast. We'll see what kind of life we get out of them. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the fixtures themselves. The sockets are good. They're not burnt or anything like that. So rather than replace the whole thing, I'd rather like, I'd like to get quite a bit more life out of them. But since this one is dead, um, I decided I'm going to dissect it, see what happened to it. Um, it's going to take me a while to get this actually pulled apart. You can see got a lip here with kind of like interlocking, interlocking tabs and I know for a fact I've actually disassembled one of these once and I'll show you it whenever I get this one disassembled. I know there's a transistor there and another one there that's clipped on and they're using the case as a heat sink but I'll get this apart and I'll show you what's inside of it. Well, I've got the top off of this. I wanted to sh kind of show you as I pulled it apart how it was set up. They have the seams kind of glued with what looks like RTV silicone, probably to keep vibration down. And you can see the little clips that they used to uh, clip the transistors to the side of the case. Now you notice it doesn't look like they used any heat sink grease at all on them and they didn't and apparently the tab on these must be at some sort of a potential voltage above ground or I guess it could be below ground whichever so they got this little insulator on it and I can tell you pretty much for a fact that at least in the other one that I had which there it is right there you notice those transistors are gone well that was a problem with that one those transistors were completely open emitter base and collector all three were completely open and those are um, they're not MOSFETs they are actually bipolar transistors and I'll have to somewhere I have the uh, data sheet printed out on this. I'll see if I can't find that for some place a little bit later in the video. But I'll disassemble this the rest of the way and we'll see if those two transistors are open on this one as well. Well, I took those two power transistors out and sure enough they're both open. They're uh, PHE 13007. Um, there's a data sheet right there. Silicon diffused power transistor. Um, NXP, which I think is what used to be Phillips semiconductor, if I remember right. But just as it says in the general description, the PHE 13007 is a silicon NPN power switching transistor and the TO220 AB envelope intended for use and high frequency electronic lighting ballast applications and etc. So I think what probably happens with these particular Chicom ballasts is these things get too hot. You can even see they put a little formal coating and actually if you can see the extra shine on that there's actually some of that coating on the back of there so Basically, this thing doesn't dissipate any heat. It just gets way overheated, in my opinion, and it fries them. So, 
I had a bright idea when I disassembled this first one of saying, well, I'll just um, track some of these down and I'll mount them in my own box with a nice heavy duty heat sink on each individual one and they'll last a lot longer. That sounds like a good idea. But for some reason, and I assume that's probably to keep people like me from doing that, you can't buy these PHE 13007s unless you want to buy like 10,000 of them at a time. Well, <laughs> even at 20 cents each or whatever the heck they were, I sure as heck don't need 10,000 of them or sure as heck wouldn't spend the money on 10,000 of them. So basically what I'm going to do with this ballast is just like I did with the other, I'm going to cut the wires off, recycle the wires, and I'll probably eventually mine the parts out of this. Uh, this particular one here, I tested each individual part as best I could. Didn't see anything wrong with any other parts on it. I have yet to do that to this one. But basically I'll just mine them for parts. And it's not like it's that big of a deal anyways because these other ballasts that I have aren't that expensive. And this one here is a universal lighting ballast, basic 12 electronic ballast. Um, actually, this is the same one that I put into that light fixture down in the basement. And that light is brighter than any of the lights ever had been, even from the time those light fixtures were installed. And I would have to assume that these probably have maybe a power MOSFET running the output of them as compared to a transistor is probably a bit more efficient. Um, light fixtures are about basically about the same as these ones I have hanging up here. Just a two bulb standard light fixture. So I'm just going to replace all the ones that I have with these universal brand light ballasts, electronic ballasts, and see if we get any better life out of it. Really not much sense in messing with these things. Um, I tried to find maybe a commonly available transistor that had similar specifications to this one and there really wasn't one. That's basically why they made this one in the first place. If there was around another one around that had similar specifications for this application, there wouldn't be any reason to have this particular transistor. And to tell you the truth, I think probably most light ballasts are using regular MOSFETs anyways. So, basically I'm just going to recycle as many parts as I can out of this and the rest of it's just going to hit the trash. Sometimes that's just what you got to do. Oh well.